we want to evaluate the given expressions. The first step is to simplify within the parentheses, which means for the first expression, we need to determine negative four minus four. Negative four minus four is equal to negative eight, and therefore the expression simplifies to seven squared minus negative eight. Now if we're not sure this difference is negative eight, remember, we can write every subtraction problem as an addition problem, subtracting a positive is equivalent to adding a negative, which means negative four minus four is equivalent to negative four plus negative four. Using the formal rules for adding integers with the same sign, we add the absolute values and then keep the original sign. And the absolute value of negative four is four. Positive four plus positive four is equal to positive eight, and therefore negative four plus negative four is equal to negative eight. Or we could also model this using integer chips. To model negative four, we have four negative integer chips. And if we add negative four, we have four more negative integer chips. Notice how we have eight negative integer chips verifying the sum is negative eight. The next step is to simplify the exponents. And therefore we simplify seven squared, which is equal to seven times seven, which is 49. The expression simplifies to 49 minus negative eight. Subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive. 49 minus negative eight is equivalent to 49 plus positive eight, which is equal to 57. For the next expression, again, the first step is to simplify within the parentheses, which means we begin by determining negative five plus seven. Negative five plus seven is equal to positive two. The expression simplifies to three raised to the fourth power plus positive two. And again, if we're not sure of this sum, the positive seven is going to outweigh the negative five, and therefore the result is going to be positive. Using the formal rules, because we're adding integers with different signs, we subtract the absolute values, and we always subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value, the absolute value of positive seven is seven. The absolute value of negative five is five. Seven minus five is equal to positive two. And again, because the positive seven outweighs the negative five, the sum is positive two. Or if we went to use integer chips, for negative five, we have five negative integer chips. For positive seven, we have seven positive integer chips. From here, five negative integer chips and five positive integer chips simplify to zero, leaving us with two positive integer chips verifying the sum as positive two. The next step is to simplify the exponents, which means we need to simplify three raised to the fourth power. Three to the fourth is equal to three times three times three times three which is equal to 81. The expression simplifies to 81 plus positive two, which is equal to 83. And again, let's verify these using a calculator. We enter the expressions just as given. The first expression is equal to 57. and the second expression is equal to 83. I hope you found this helpful.